out of interest, uh, I started to work on microalgae like 15 years ago. We did mainly our research on, uh, on, on lab scale. Bit by bit, there came um, uh, industrial uh, interest in the, in the field and there was a need to, to bridge the gap actually between fundamental research taking place in the, in the lab and the commercial applications. The sun. It all starts with the sun. The sun provides energy, brings nature to life and our society. We can store and use solar energy, allowing us to create an economy that safeguards energy, food and resources for generations to come. A bio-based economy. If you care about the planet where we live, the benefit is that you contribute into a more sustainable world. Microalgae potentially is, a, is the source or the way to, uh, to do that. To access the sunlight's potential, we need microalgae because microalgae are champions at converting solar energy into useful biomass. They are photosynthetic microorganisms. They're beautiful, they're green, and they can produce from almost nothing, very little. They can produce a lot of different compounds to be used in our society. Uh, I think algae is important because it is one uh, possibility to transform sun uh, in an uh, interesting product for food, feed, chemicals and also for energy. The companies with whom we collaborate are mostly end users of products and they are from all kinds of sectors. So that can be for, for fuel, but that can also be uh, feed and food companies or chemical companies. So a large variety of companies that presently are using fossil resources or, or agricultural crops as a feedstock, but due to the scarcity they are in, in search for alternatives. So from the sun mostly and CO2 you can produce many compounds. That's the simplicity of, of, of the process in fact, that's, that's the beauty of it. The, the big bottleneck is the, is the cost that we, we can make them for and the scale at which we can produce. So we are not able today to produce sufficient lipids for example for biofuel. My dream 20 years from now is that the consumer does not notice that there are algae in their food or in their fuel or in their chemicals but that they are convinced that there is a sustainable supply of those ingredients and that they can live in the same welfare as they are doing now without noticing that it is from algae. Since 2011, Algae Park is the place for algae research. All aspects of algae are studied here by looking at the entire production chain in an integral way. Strain improvement. We use modern breeding and selection techniques to create super algae that will produce the bio-based products of the future. Cultivation. Here we get to know the needs of our microalgae under controlled laboratory conditions. Scale up. With our outdoor pilot, we're taking the first steps towards the next level, a relevant industrial scale. Harvest. We work on smart ways of separating microalgae and water, efficiently and at low energy expenditure. By a refinery, we work on mild separation technologies to obtain all the valuable components of the microalgae, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids and pigments. Product development. Together with our partners, we develop future applications for microalgal products. We start with the algae, with the algae itself. How can we make them more efficient? How can they produce more of the products that we want for the food, for the feed, for the chemistry, for the energy industries? Our first research program was based on, on, on indoors. And when you come outdoors, it's, it's, it's a huge challenge. So then you have the technology development. So in which kind of systems do you need to grow them vertical, horizontal? closed systems and this is in fact in these pilot facilities very much what we're, we're looking at. And then after you have to take all the components from your cell and you have to do this again in the, in the energy efficient, so putting as little energy as possible and you have to do it in a way that you don't break all the components, that you keep the functionality of the components inside the cell when you want to take them out because all of them have value. So these are the, the steps. What I want to see is the implementation of our process in 
in our society. So we have two, two ambitions. One, of course, is, is the quality and scientific ambitions. And the other one, which is also very important, is to implement it. And I want to make it happen. At LG Park, we strive to make algal products in the cheapest and most sustainable way possible. We aim to make the world a greener and more sustainable place. But my dream is that to see really a, a large-scale production of, of microalgae for commodities of algae. So I dream of seeing hundreds of hectares with production of microalgae in a sustainable way. In 2011, so that's now three years ago, so that's when we first inoculated, and this has been a, a growing process in the last three years. The world is looking at this place, and you also see it with the partners that we have in, in our research programs. We work in collaboration with many industrial partners from all over the world, from the States, from Europe, so the world is looking at this place. What we see is that industry is open-minded for uh, the use of microalgae. There's more and more pressure on the quantity of feedstocks that are available and about the sustainability of it. And algae provides a good source for that. And I think that's for many companies interesting to, to be part of that. These are one group of, uh, of industries. On the other side you have from the algae cultivation until your end product, there's a lot of opportunities in the chain for, for example, small, medium companies to come and bring uh, uh, the technology, the technology needs to, de to be developed. For the future, for example, for the chemicals and uh, for the, the biofuel, it will be uh, interesting, but you need to have some breakthrough in order to have an economical point of view interest. When we started in 2011, the projected costs for the production of microalgae on 100 hectares in the Netherlands were about 5.50 euros per kilogram. We are now two years on route and we are at a 50% reduction in estimated cost price based on the models. By 2025, we aim to have the costs under a euro by cultivating superalgae in our most advanced systems in sunny locations such as the south of Europe and the Canary Islands. And then we can compete with uh, commercial proteins, uh, palm oil, etc., etc. Uh, Algae Park gives the opportunity to have a pilot plant uh, scale. After, you need to, 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 to build a demonstration unit and after a commercial unit. So at this moment, there's no experience in large-scale cultivation. One hectare is a large scale for uh, microalgae. So if you want to grow microalgae for commodities, bulk products, the scale has to increase a lot. How can we further reduce the cost price and energy consumption? How can we extract all the valuable components from our algae in an efficient way? How can we, together with our industrial partners, develop economically attractive market combinations? These are the challenges for the future. You need to, to start with one, uh, one step, and Alga Park is really an, uh, an important step for the development. That's why we at Algae Park will work hard at developing superalgae with the best features for industrial application in the coming years. We're working on legislation and social acceptance of algae and their products. We're working on even more efficient and more sustainable cultivation methods to close the loop in production. Together with our partners, we aim to test production systems at more sunny locations, improve harvesting and biorefining of algae biomass, and develop more competitive market applications. That's the strength of Algae Park's unique character, working on all steps of the production chain with an integral approach. With microalgae, we are building a bio-based future. Let's build it together.